Questo e quella per me per sono val dental, tre di intorno, di intorno mi vero. Le giorni in terra non c'era e meglio una che era altra beltà. I spent several years back in the early 90s uh, doing the starving artist thing. And then I realized after a while I, I, I did like to eat. I really enjoyed uh, um, having nicer clothes. <laughs> uh, but I was, was concerned that I would be selling out if I got a job. But I, I knew there was a responsibility. All, all of us have a responsibility to society. And, and so I felt that I should do that. And so I got into the museum business and working part-time doing that. And after work, I was able to come home and paint for hours on end. Duke Windsor has many talents, from his opera singing to his sketches to his alleyway paintings. He captures the ordinary in an extraordinary way. In 1994, I saw the light pass through an alley that I'd passed by once, and it shocked me because it was so beautiful and I had to do a sketch of it. It might have been an alleyway that you hurriedly walked down in San Diego. You might not have ever seen it the way Duke captures it. I was working with these in acrylics, and these are the Urban Detail series. Uh, original title was Alleys of North Park. But after hundreds of paintings created and sold at places like Mission Federal Art Walk in Little Italy, Duke is transforming his artistic career through the help of the San Diego Fine Arts Society's mentor program and the guidance of Yorm Gill. Duke is courageously exploring the abstract world of fine art. So he kind of helped help me as a mentor would, or even as a football coach would, by giving you exercises that would throw you completely out of your comfort zone. And he's helped me become a little bit, not a little bit, but a lot more uh, confident in stepping outside of the norm because he warned me in the sense of going into an abstract field. Not everybody's going to get it. Not everyone's going to see them the way they see the alleys. And he's warned me that my, even my collectors are going to wonder what's wrong with me. <laughs> um, and, and I think I could sum it up is that the society has helped me become a braver artist and to step away from a lie, maybe, you know, tell the truth. And as an artist, we're supposed to tell the truth, uh, true feelings, true emotions, and allow the, the, the viewer to become part of the work. So um, I hope that happens. As you look at it, it seems like there's a bunch of blotches of color and, and a lot of texture on it, but it is abstract. However, it is representational at the same time. This is a sidewalk view, and it's a view of a sidewalk in which it's been repaired, it's worn, it's, it's broken up. It used to be probably one of the alleys or, or a zoomed-in view of one of the alleys, even though it is almost, almost unrecognizable. But if you think about it, as you look at the world around us, there's always natural abstracts, and that's the direction I decided that I wanted to push I guess push the envelope, not do exactly what the abstract expressions did, but try to find my own way, my own voice. Uh, since I am an urban painter, I guess you might say, I've moved from the representational alley and zoomed into that and tried to find the beauty in its own natural abstract form. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua for Art Pulse TV.